Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV. Human space exploration was the hot topic on the third day of the Berlin Air and Space Show. Earthlings have made it to low Earth orbit space stations and the moon, but the long-term vision is to get humans on Mars. Missions like the Lunar Orbital Platform are in the works to take us where we have never gone before. The Lunar Orbital Platform is so to say a stepping stone for returning to the Moon robots, but uh, I would say in the next half of the coming decade also human. And this overall concept will be a big stepping stone towards bringing humans then maybe in one or two decades to the neighboring planet Mars. Protecting our explorers both physically and emotionally is of top priority, as well as the need for international collaboration to push the boundaries of space exploration. Five, five, six, Visitors to the Space Pavilion got the chance to talk to the explorers themselves, such as astronaut Reinhold Ewald, who went to space in 1997, and Matthias Maura, who has yet to go to space, but is already preparing for the next steps in human spaceflight. I'm part of a team that prepares the future. It's uh, the Spaceship EIC team. It's uh, part of what, students, scientists that work together. We sit together and we reflect what kind of technology do we need on the Moon and later on on Mars. Technology like how do we build a house where we can safely live, how can we produce oxygen to breathe, water to drink, how can we produce energy. Earlier in the week, Matthias was joined by astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti and ESA's Director General Jan Werner to greet the German Chancellor Angela Merkel at the pavilion. Other notable visitors during the week included Peter Altmaier, the German Federal Minister for Economic Affairs and Energy, German's Minister for Digitalization Dorothy Barr paid a visit, as well as the State Secretary in the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Labor and Housing, Katrin Schutz. Several scientific accomplishments were celebrated at the Berlin Air and Space Show, including the release of the richest star catalog to date, based on data from ESA's Gaia mission. The data will be used to eventually build the most accurate three-dimensional map of our galaxy. The launch of the Sentinel-3B satellite from Russia was closely followed at the Space Pavilion. The mission will measure Earth's oceans, land, ice and atmosphere, together with its twin Sentinel-3A. Now, with Sentinel-3B, we have seven satellites in orbit, and this is the first phase of our Copernicus missions. Great relief, great success. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And you can and now look at me. And that wraps up our coverage of the Berlin Air and Space Show. A special thanks to all of the organizers and participants of the events and to the ESA Web TV crew, Stefano Palchetti and Marco Civita. I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels, and from all of us here in Berlin, have a great day.